Hey guys, uh, Sean Stafford here, just dropping a quick video to answer some of the questions that I've been getting on my Facebook page recently. Um, after the competition, which was now a couple of weeks ago, I've had a flood of people ask me about where my diet goes post-competition and I thought rather than write a long post explaining exactly what I'm doing, it might be quicker to write a... Uh, do a quick video and fill you guys in on what I'm up to, what my diet's looking like and how I came to put that diet together. So in terms of the, the diet that I'm currently following, because as a fitness model I don't really need to, to put on much bulk, I, I sit at around about 85 kilos, um, maybe just over year round. and that's sort of anywhere between sort of 8 and 10 to 11% body fat. The reason why I don't necessarily go into a massive bulk is that I've got a lot of shoots booked, I've, um, I've got some jobs coming up, expos, uh, a few product launches, so it doesn't really make sense for me to sort of balloon and lose all my conditions. So I think most people that are sort of professional fitness models, they, they don't really teeter too much above the 10% mark in terms of body fat, just because if you get a call to do a shoot or a magazine, um, you need to be in, in, in relatively good shape. So in terms of the amount of calories that I'm currently on, um, the way I work it out is uh, I sit at around about 15 calories per pound body weight, and that kind of maintains my mass and my condition where it is. Um, if you're looking to cut, I would you know, potentially suggest you going a little bit lower than that, so anywhere between 11 and 15. And maybe if you're looking to put on a bit of weight, I would suggest potentially bumping it up uh, 16, 17, maybe up to 20, um, maybe even higher if, uh, if, you, if you find it very hard to put on weight. Um, but where I'm at at the moment is around about 15 um, calories per pound, and in terms of what that equates to as a daily calorie limit, that's around about 2,800. Because uh, I've got something coming up in a, in a few weeks, I want to try and maintain my condition, and if not, um, maintain it, maybe even improve it a little bit. So I've put a small deficit of about 400 calories a day in there. So I'm sitting at around about 2,400 to 2,500 calories per day. Um, in terms of my macronutrients, um, my proteins, my carbs, and my fat, um, I try and keep this relatively simple. So of my six meals that I have in a day, um, I try and relatively keep, um, keep a nice structured plan together. The way I work out the amount of protein that I have is... Um, I sit at around about 1.3 to 1.5 grams per pound body weight, which works out at around about 240 grams of protein a day. Um, in terms of my fat, I like to have around about 20% of my overall calories coming from fat. So what that means in terms of a daily amount would be about 50 grams a day. Um, the rest of my calories... I, I try and get from carbohydrates um, and from good carbohydrate sources. So um, where we, where and how we distribute those in a day, uh, a lot of people do it uh, really different ways. A lot of people do carb backloading. A lot of people do carb front loading. Um, I'll, I'll fill you in a bit later on in the video about exactly how I, I structure my carbs on a, on a daily basis. But um, right now we'll talk a little bit about protein and fat. So for the protein, um, I, I take about six meals a day. So I take that 240 grams, I divide it by six, and that equals about 40 grams that I then spread evenly throughout the day, throughout the six meals. Um, with the fat, it's a little bit more complicated in the fact that I just, I don't put fat in post-workout. Um, so I, I try and squeeze those, uh, those 50 grams into five meals, which works out at about 10 grams a day. Um, in terms of the the carbs, what I like to do is I like to take about 20% of my daily carbs and put them pre-workout. Um, I then like to take 30% and put them post-workout. 
I then take the remaining 50% and spread them out over the remaining four meals. Um, so depending on when I train, um, it depends on the size of the, uh, the meal, both before and after. Um, so that's a little bit of insight into how I structure my carbs on a daily basis. Um, in terms of meal timings, um, I'm a creature of habit. I, I find it easy to, to do the same thing day in, day out. So um, for me, it's a case of I have my breakfast at 7, 7.30. I have second breakfast um, at around 9, 9.30. Um, I'll then have my lunch or pre-workout meal around about 12.30. Um, I train at 3. Um, I have my post-workout shake at around 4, 4.15. I then try and get another meal in around 5.36 before leaving work. Um, I then get home and have, have dinner at around about 7.30, 8 o'clock. In terms of what I'm eating and in terms of the food, I can tell you exactly what I'm eating. Um, I've worked it all out. I sit down with the, with the nutritional information that I can get. You can find it online if you, if you don't know the nutritional information of any, any food source. Just Google it. Go on to nutritioninformationdata.com um, um, and a lot of it will come up and it's, it's pretty reliable. So um, in terms of my breakfast at the moment, I'm on an egg white omelette with some spinach and some ham. Um, and I also, so I'll have 100, 100 milliliters of egg whites, two large eggs, 50 grams of spinach, 50 grams of ham. I sprinkle a little bit of cheese on for flavor. Um, I also have 25 grams of porridge, obviously not in the omelette. That's cooking on the, on the, on the thing next to it. Um, but I'll eat my omelette, then I'll have my porridge. And that gives me my 40 grams of protein, my 10 grams of fat, and around about 27 grams of carbs. Um, what I then have at 9.30 is either, it's, it's about 130 grams of steak or exotic meat burgers. Um, I put that with some green veg and some potatoes. So at the moment it's, I'm, I'm cycling between new potatoes one day and sweet potatoes the next and I have about 150 grams um, which gives me that sort of 27 uh, grams of, of carbohydrate per meal. My lunchtime is either chicken or turkey. I'm looking at about 80 grams of chicken or turkey. Um, and then I stick that with about 180 grams of basmati rice and add in about 50 grams of peas. Um, and that's my pre-workout meal. I then have a vegan protein uh, post-workout shake and I'll either have a couple of bananas or about 200 grams of pineapple post-workout to, to bump the carbs right up and to just get some sugars and some, some, some nice fruit back into my diet. I then have another chicken or turkey rice and peas meal. Um, however, the, the amount of rice that's in the second meal is slightly less. So for me, I'll, I'll sit at around about 120 grams of, of rice, still have the peas and again, keep the turkey or the chicken at around about 80 grams. Um, I then get home and I'll either have a, a big portion of white fish, whether it be tilapia, cod. Um, I've recently started trying blue shark, which is a lot of fun. Um, tastes really good. I stick half an avocado with it um, and have, again, about 150 grams of either new potatoes or sweet potatoes. Um, and that pretty much makes up my my meal plans for the day. Um, what I'm getting into the habit of doing at the moment is Keezy Foods do really good um, healthy ready meals which just add a little bit of variation so potentially two to three times a week rather than having the white fish in the evening I'll take a 300 gram ready meal whether it be you know Caribbean red snapper or springbok tagine or some other you know wagyu beef meatballs something something different something tasty and um that fits the macros of around about 40 grams of, uh, of protein, 10 grams of fat, around 30 grams of carbs, and I will slot that in. Um, that's pretty much what I do. Um, I follow that program or that diet for potentially five to six days a week, and then on the seventh day, I would take it off um, and eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want, but just to, to keep sane and keep balanced. Um, I'm finding this is working quite well for me at the moment. Um, I hope that gives you guys an insight into what I'm doing at the moment with my diet. Um, 
and maybe gives you a bit of information about how potentially you could structure your own diet. Um, as I said, I, I like to stick this information out there. Um, all I ask in return is that if you like what you're hearing, please uh, please share it on Facebook, please retweet it on Twitter. Um, that's really appreciated. I um, just want to say thank you to Reflex Nutrition for all their support with my supplements, uh, to Lululemon Athletica for all their support with my um, with my sports kit, and then all my Facebook f um, friends, all my Facebook followers, um, all my Twitter followers for all your constant support, and uh, it's really appreciated. So yeah, thanks for that. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. Sorry I ramble for about ten minutes, but. Um, I'll try and do more of these because the feedback that I get from the pages is that you prefer a little bit of interaction through a video rather than constant posts. So I'll try and get one of these out every other week um, on a various subject. So if you've got something you want to hear about, uh, drop me a note on the page and uh, it might make it into the next video. Thanks very much.